ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு லேர்ன் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் த செகண்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் மெக்கானிக்கல் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டீஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளூட்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ரிவிஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பார்ட் ஐ திங்க் இட்ஸ் கிளியர் ஃபார் யூ அண்ட் நவ் த செகண்ட் பார்ட் ஸ்டார்டிங் வித் விஸ்கோசிட்டி so what is meant by viscosity it is the resistive motion resistive force between the layers of fluid it is the resistive force between the layers of fluid that is called there whenever there is a relative motion between the fluid that between the layers of fluid see when fluid is uh, it's a streamlined flow if i am considering you see between the layers if there is a relative motion then that resistive force is called a viscosity or it's as a definition or it is a mathematically if we are writing we can write it as viscosity will be eta that is equal to ratio of stress to the strain rate this is called a viscosity this is represented as viscosity stress we know force by area strain means change in length divided by original length divided by time so if i am considering for the time interval delta t what is delta l by delta t v so we can write it as f by a divided by v by l or we can write it as f l divided by a v this is the formula for viscosity okay stress divided by strain rate strain means we know change in dimension divided by original dimension with respect to time we are calculating that is strain rate okay then what will be the dimension of viscosity dimension of viscosity is m l t to the power minus 2 into l divided by l square into l t to the power minus 1 so we will get it as l square will get cancel m l to the power minus 1 t to the power see m l t to the power minus 2 uh, t to the power minus 1 it will become m l t to the power minus 1 so what is the unit of viscosity it is poissly it's represented by p o i poissly poissly okay that is the unit of viscosity or we can write it as newton meter by meter square into meter per second so per second it will come numerator so we will write it as newton meter to the power minus 2 second so so usually the children will, so usually children will be this uh, poisley what is the spelling of this one p o i poisley s e i u l l e this is the form the spelling for poisley okay this one mistake will be happening usually in the case in the um, well they are writing so just remember this okay so this is about the viscosity and next is as temperature increases what will happen to viscosity okay viscosity will be decreasing in the case of liquids and viscosity will be increasing in the case of gases this one also you should remember as temperature increases viscosity will be decreasing as temperature increases viscosity will be increasing in the case of gases okay so next we are going to study about what is stokes law and terminal velocity so stokes law states that viscous force acting between the fluid okay if an object is falling through a fluid or if an object is moving through a fluid f is equal to viscous drag force is equal to 6 pi eta av viscous drag force equals 6 pi eta av so is eta is the coefficient of viscosity a is the dimension of the object which is moving v is the velocity of the object which is moving okay when we are considering an object which is moving through the uh, which is under free fall see we know that if an object is falling like this it will be increasing its velocity isn't it so what will be the maximum velocity the object is getting that maximum velocity is called a terminal velocity 
okay next is terminal velocity is the maximum velocity with an object is attaining when it is under free fall so we know that as velocity initial velocity will be zero it will be increasing its velocity till where the velocity will be increasing when it is balancing all the forces mg is acting gravitational forces acting downwards buoyant forces acting upward direction and one more thing viscous drag forces acting in the opposite direction so when mf viscous drag force plus buoyant force is equal to gravitational force we will be getting terminal velocity terminal velocity is the maximum velocity the object which is attaining when it is under free fall okay so that is called the terminal velocity okay clear so what is this velocity viscosity and the relative uh, topics you understood so next we are going to study about the reynolds number reynolds number reynolds number is the as an expression while we are writing r is equal to rho v d divided by eta rho is the density of the fluid v velocity and d is the dimension of the object uh, and eta is the uh, viscosity okay coefficient of viscosity so reynolds number is used to find out whether the fluid will be under streamlined flow or turbulent flow if r is less than 1000 then we can say it is under streamlined flow streamlined and if r is greater than 2000 then we can say it is turbulent okay if it is between 1000 and 2000 1000 to 2000 means it will be unsteady we can we can't predict whether it will be in streamlined flow or turbulent flow or this number we can write it as it is the inertial force dimensionally we can prove that inertial force by viscous force or coefficient viscous force so this is reynolds number this is uh, this is what about the reynolds number clear so next we are going to study about the surface tension so what is meant by surface tension it is the force surface force acting per unit length that is called a surface tension surface force acting per unit length that is surface tension and it is or surface energy per unit area that also we can write it as surface tension okay any one thing you can write down so surface tension s is equal to force acting per unit length or it is surface energy per unit area also we can write out okay surface tension means what is the maximum force which is at attaining at the surface so if the surface particles are more it will be having more and uh, that's a more energy to reduce that surface energy the molecules will be or particles will always be attaining less surface area so that it will the liquids and all will be fluids will be always having a less surface area that is why it is attaining a spherical shape it is attaining a spherical shape for the sense it is of lower surface area so to attain a lower surface area all the fluids will be attaining a spherical shape liquid droplets spherical in shape because to reduce the surface tension and here next we are going to study about what is a cohesive force and adhesive force what is an a cohesive force and adhesive force if there is an attraction between different kind of molecules then we can say it is adhesive okay adhesive force is the force of attraction with adhesive adhesive force means different particles force of attraction between the different particles is called a adhesive force water and ground surface water and uh, paper water and cloth all those things are adhesive force oil and water so it is not attracting there is no attraction only between the same kind of molecules they are called as cohesive force cohesive force is the force between the particles of same kind 
same the force of attraction between the same kind of particles is called a cohesive force okay clear what is meant by adhesive force and cohesive force adhesive force means it is the force of attraction between the different kind of molecules cohesive force means there is a force of attraction between the same kind of molecules as cohesive force okay so next we are going to study about angle of contact next is angle of contact so if i am considering a fluid which is having adhesive force and cohesive force both the conditions i am considering if it is adhesive force means different molecules will be attract different particles will be attracting so its shape will be like this if it is having a cohesive force same kind only will be it is attracted to it so this is the for cohesive force and this is for adhesive force so if i am considering a tangent on the surface of the liquid or fluid surface of the liquid and i am considering the angle here the angle between the tangent of the fluid and the surface which is in contact which includes the surf liquid this is called a angle of contact okay it is the tangent between the surface of the liquid and the surface which is in contact with the other surface other object okay so and which includes the liquid that is called as angle of contact so here in the case of cohesive force this is the tangent and this is the surface and this is this angle which include the liquid okay so this is the angle of contact so here it is theta is less than 90 degree so it is acute in the case of adhesive force angle of contact is acute and in the case of cohesive force angle of contact is obtuse okay clear so what is meant by angle of contact next is capillary rise so what is meant by capillary rise capillarity capillarity means it is the phenomenon of rise of fluid against gravity through a small nozzle okay against gravity the the liquid is rising the phenomenon of rise of fluid against gravity through the small nozzle is called as small tube is called as capillary rise okay so the capillary rise uh, this phenomenon is called a capillarity and the rise and fall can happen in both the ways we can write down okay so if it is rise is happening it is capillary rise or capillary ascent we will say if the it is falling down then it is capillary descent we will say okay and there we uh, next we learned about the excess pressure excess pressure inside a bubble and a drop if i am considering a drop the excess pressure will be pi minus po inside pressure minus outside pressure will be equal to 2s by r whereas is the surface tension in the case of a bubble excess pressure will be equal to 4s by r what is the reason bubble means we should consider the two surfaces in the case of drop no need to consider the second surface only one surface so it will become 24s by r okay so the derivation is there in the video the previous videos which i had given okay so this is the excess pressure and next we learned about the uh, what is the relation connecting surface tension and detergents when we are adding detergents to water what are the uh, detergents to the uh, clothes what will happen how the oily stains will be coming out when the detergents are mixing with the oil surface tension decreases surface tension decreases that means their cohesive force will decrease so it will be ready to mix with the cloth okay surface tension decreases cohesive force will decrease and it will help to so uh, detergents means it is of hair pin shaped molecule okay one side dirt will be accumulating this is a detergent molecule one side dirt will be accumulating the other side water will be accumulating now it is a globule containing water detergent dirt 
so while we are rinsing that with water what will happen this globule will come out along with that globule this detergent and dirt water excess water everything will be coming out okay so main physical thing in that is when we are adding detergent surface tension decreases okay clear so these are the important topics of there and we learned about the capillary rise formula also you are remembering right pi minus po rho g h is equal to 2s by r instead of r we wrote it as a cos theta okay so that formula also important only that also there in the given in the description box those videos okay so i hope it is clear for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching